Deep into that darkness peering, long I stood there, wondering, fearing, doubting. Understand fear as I have. Good morning, afternoon, and evening, everyone. This is Hippie Tesla, and welcome to episode two of Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem. We're doing the Zeltat run, which means basically anti sanity run. Hi there, everyone in the chat. Hi, Lupka. Sash. Uh, who else is there? Zdravo, Echo. Maybe the folks are there too. All right, so last time we actually did pretty good and uh, beat half the game in one sitting, which is pretty cool. No, memory card slot B, which is pretty cool for Eternal Darkness. And uh, oh yeah, there you see a little green icon means we're doing the uh, the Zelatat run. We'll do all three of them this October, so we're gonna get the full ending mingled with all the Resident Evil titles we'll be doing, so it's gonna be a scary October scary <laughs> with these games, but yeah um, before we start I just want to say there's a, I made a compilation of the uh, sanity effects we got in the previous episode, I'll do it with each episode uh, we do this October, to have them all in one pile, because I think it's pretty cool some of them even like I you, if you remember in the last episode when I found with Elliot the blowgun darts, I was like, oh, I never found that, probably because I'm using it. Well, <laughs> I didn't find them. That was the sanity effect. Like, there's no, that item doesn't exist in the game, but the game just, like, fucks with you. So, <laughs> yeah, that's also in there. So check it out. It's on Twitch. Uh, should be under, what's called, highlights. Highlights, yeah, on my channel. If you're interested, I'll probably upload it to YouTube as well. Let's get into this. How's it looking? It's looking pretty good there. There we go. That's the Sanity's Requiem track we just listened to. I also lowered the microphone volume a bit because while I'm talking pretty loud, it's not a high quality microphone. And um, it's, <laughs> it's just, I don't know. I, I think there's some distortion from some of the recordings we've did, done. The previous few days so I lowered it a bit let me know if you can't hear me well that will help 
because I can't hear myself. Really, it's different when I do it in tests and like this. Also, if the game's too loud, stuff like that, yeah, let me know. All right, what were we doing last? We finished Max Maximilian Royfus's chapter, which is her um, ancestor. He entered the secret room through this uh, fireplace in 1800s. I think it was... What year was it? 1800 something. Can't go faster than that. There we go. Chapter 5. So we finished 5 chapters. The Lurking Horror. It'll tell us right away. I will not argue that I was... Check, check. <laughs> testing, testing. Of one of my <laughs> ancestors. <laughs> The distinguished Dr. Max. I love the turtleneck because uh, I just realized when I was it putting the headphones around my neck, bones. it's less painful. <laughs> Where had this one two one two come from? <laughs> How had my ancestor stumbled? Yeah, it says there. The, it's tiny. We I gotta wait for it to zoom. To read more, eager to learn. Seventeen sixty, I think it was actually seventeen sixty. It seems that Max so, uh, had inherited his her ancestor. Just as I who found am. out about uh, well the whole no, eternal darkness plot and he found the uh, sacred own yeah 1760 the the sacred <laughs> the city of Enga underneath their mansion so uh, <laughs> so that's what we're we're doing also another thing yeah we're doing the low sanity run which means all three of them which means we're gonna trigger as many as sanity effects as we can I'm trying to keep the sanity low it's the green bar there without um, well, killing myself, because that's a thing you can do. Let's see. So just heal enough to... Well, not die. There's the knocking. Hey, zombie! Hello, I'm glad you're here, man. You like this game. You've probably never seen it, because it's on GameCube, but... It's really good. Like, it's the... It's your old hippies... <laughs> one of... Two favorite horror games right up there with Silent Hill 2. It's hard to choose. What was the last thing we did? I think the last thing we did was the... Yeah, the pantry. That's where we found Max's chapter. Now I think... I think I know where to go next. How would I know that though? Oh, I got the dresser key. That's right. Is that for the dresser upstairs? Yeah, I need to reveal the lock. That's right. Let me just see something i think something might happen here that knock yeah just the piano yeah okay okay i think it'll be there in a yeah when we come back we can unequip her she doesn't need the gladius anymore kind of makes sense with her running Unequipped around the house, if you know what I mean. Jesus Christ, that statue always creeps me up. <laughs> yeah, this is the room. That's right. So, because with Max, we got the reveal invisible spell. We're gonna cast it here. I think that's what we need to do next. Are we missing some rooms? No, not yet. Okay. Spell list. Reveal invisible. Cast with... Uh, red, green, blue, red, green. So, Chaturga. Jeez. Yep. Using the real invisible spell has made the keyhole appear. The dresser still appears to be locked, however. Now we can use the dresser key. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. Key to a dresser. No, not check. Use. Using the dresser key, Alex unlocks the drawer. Should Alex open it? Yeah. <laughs> of course she should. There we go. Finally get the revolver. Inside is a chrome finished revolver and a tattered page from the Tome of Eternal Darkness. Should Alex retrieve these items? Yes, she should. Chapter page. A journey into darkness. Oh, this is going to get better and better. Guardians have located the heart of Mantarok. Yes, located within its grave. As we suspected. That's from Alia, if you remember. At once. In Cambodia. Wary, the power of Mantarok lingers still, corroding the universe around its tomb. It will doubtlessly be guarded after these seven centuries. The beast has not been contained. 
They all fear Mantarok. That my binding of Mantarok, fueled by your very own power, will be enough. It is not your sorcery that we doubt, Augustus. Is it Echoi? Power of the dead god. How can you, a mere Aside from Zelta, she should be Echoi. What that entity represents, or what power it can wield. We know not. And we know more than thou. Your future depends on me, Majesty. Without me to open the gates. Yes, yes. Be quick, lest our power and our faith in you wanes to oblivion. It will never happen. I have seen differently. She's crazy. She is the sanity, sanity of ancient. So yeah. All right, we got the revolver. Smith and Wesson, Wesson, model 37, one of the smaller revolvers in the Smith and Wesson family. This double action revolver is capable of firing 38 special ammunition, which allows for extra stopping power. Familiar zombie? <laughs> Anything in the bathroom? We can start reading the page. Yeah, we've seen that. Okay, so it's the next chapter, the piano thing. See, everything's red because I used Chaturgas Reveal Invisible. As long as it's red, she'll like be able to see through Zeltat charm stuff all right page here we go journey into darkness this is gonna be where elia was so the one of the only two characters that end up in cambodia yeah that's it let's go the ancients influence was incredible from all walks of life to all parts of the world their tendrils crept and wrought their insidious damage their prisons decayed constantly as their guardian's work continued. I discovered mention of a breakthrough in satellite radar imaging that revealed the presence of a hitherto unknown temple mound in the Angkor Thom region of Cambodia. An archaeologist of some repute, Dr. Edwin Lindsay, took it upon himself to investigate the area. This is the 80s, I think. To reveal the secrets of history. Of the 20th century. Unfortunately, the local government at the time thought differently, requiring that Lindsay find other means into the country and to finance the expedition. He found these in Paul Augustine. Paul Augustine. Hear that? collector of Hear that? rare items who professed an interest in the discovery and agreed to help. After a dysentery riddle two week venture, Ugh. Lindsay and Augustine yeah. located the remains of an ancient city temple dating back to the 12th century. Paul Augustine sounds a little like Pius Augustus, maybe. <laughs> Paul Wink Wink. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's a solid yes, snake and Colonel Cam Campbell here, zombie. I hadn't expected the information Among other uh, actors. Satellite data was correct. I mean David Hayter and I have searched for it without success. Here all along clouded from us beneath the great ancient's insidious magic. I am very pleased with your performance, Dr. Lindsay. Very pleased. In fact, so pleased that I will give you an early bonus. You can kinda of see it is Skull that it's pious. My God, you are a scholar, Dr. Lindsay, not a warrior. In that regard, I have several centuries more experience than you. Don't be a fool, die quietly, and you will not. <laughs> You cannot escape me, Lindsay. This place will be your tomb, just as it is Mantarox. Oh shit, not Guardians these guys. Oh Kill god. Him. I hate these guys. They're a nuisance because you really gotta tiptoe with them to kill them. So everything when it, when the room's green like that, or like any color, blue, uh red, uh, they don't have Mantaro Guardians as far as I know. That means they're gonna fuck you up. So we're gonna start with the shotgun right away. So he's got, let's see what he's got from the items. Shotgun shells, pearl gauge, 
45 pistol, just like Kevin, because <laughs> it is the 80s. It was the popular pistol. Archaeologist's brush, so this is unique to Lindsay. He can uh, uh, find archaeological stuff, of course. I don't know how to say it. A large soft bristle brush designed for clearing dirt and dust from surfaces without damaging them. There, there you go. He's got a torch, thankfully. We know what the torch is by now. A kukri. The unusual L shape of the kukri gives the weapon a significant advantage in close quarters. The combination of a cutting edge on the inside curve of the blade and heavy weight on the blade tip gives the kukri immense chopping power. So it's a pretty good melee weapon. And an, a Remington M870 shotgun. A familiar zombie? <laughs> Slightly modified with an extended tube magazine, choke barrel, rifle shot, sights, and bayonet lug. This is the same shotgun used by the US Marine Corps since the 70s. And the automatic pistol. Since 1907, this weapon has been a trusted sidearm to U.S. armed forces. Through two world wars, Korea and Vietnam, the Colt M1911 automatic pistol has proven itself to be a reliable firearm with good stopping power. That's Kevin's weapon from Outbreak. Quip. There you go. Hey, Zom uh, sorry, Senpai, I'm sorry. Full disclaimer, I'm pretty tired today. I wanted to go to sleep at 1 p.m. It's almost 7 now. I didn't get to sleep was busy so just bear with me tonight good to see you john <laughs> zombies here as well yeah we're just talking to him all right we got the shotgun we're ready for this guy oh you gotta make him open then shoot him then run it would be better if i if i um cast the zealot that oh yeah i don't have spells with him yet i don't have the oh gee i don't have the Oh, Tome of Eternal Darkness, that's what I'm saying. Oh, we got a raid chopper here from the Lagstorm. Hi, Lagstorm, thanks for the raid, bro. How was your stream? What were you streaming? What is up? Welcome, everyone, welcome. If you don't know me, I'm Hippie Tesla. I do st I stream retro games from actual hardware. We're doing Eternal Darkness on the GameCube now. I'm sorry, the controller is transparent because of the <laughs> green screen. Welcome, if you haven't seen Eternal Darkness, it's a magnificent horror game, exclusive to the GameCube. What is up? Hello everyone, hello. Revelations, one or two? The first one, if it's the first one, I agree. Hi Sineb, welcome, welcome. You didn't miss much, we just started several minutes ago. How is everyone? John, will you do the honors, my man? Revelations 1. Yeah. Ugh, so much cringe in that game. We'll get to that. Did you enjoy it, though? <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I mean, I, I feel like we talked about this recently. Maybe even yesterday. I don't know. I'm very tired today. I don't know what was yesterday. What was a week ago? What was in your stream? What was in mine? Okay, okay. Like, if it had... <laughs> excellent, excellent. That's good to hear. Like, if it had co-op, it would have been a different story, you know. Like, at least in co-op, it's bearable. You can go with, with someone, but... Like, you know, Revelations 2. But the first one... The story... The oh my god, the Quentin... What's the other guy? Quentin... The, the comic relief guys... You know, I would love them in anything else, but in just a Resident Evil game, they're like, what the fuck are these guys doing here? It just doesn't feel like an RE... It's too cheesy even for RE. Yeah, yeah, it does feel. Between 5 and 6 with the controls and everything. Headshot. Mm, we gotta shoot him in the head, that's the only weak spot. And then we gotta finish him. Did, did he get my sanity? Yeah, we gotta finish him. There's no... We're doing a low sanity run. Oh. Oh, you did. Sorry, they just passed me. There we go. Okay, I see it now. Yeah, a lot happened at once. <laughs> yeah. They're just weird for a Resident Evil game, aren't they? I was saying, we're doing a low sanity run. So, Return of Darkness has this sanity mechanic, which... Uh, we have health, mana, and sanity. And we have... Basically, to beat the game, you gotta... Fully, you gotta do it three times with different in the three different timelines, and you're playing with 15 characters anyway. So it's there's a lot in it, but it's 
pretty fun. Lindsay has no intention of leaving the temple yet. He is determined to get the artifact before Augustine does. No one crosses Edwin Lindsay. <laughs> They're not Indiana Jones. Oh, yeah, yeah, one of them has a thing. That's right. I don't know, I was just weird <laughs> characters for a Resident Evil game, really. So, so with, with Lindsay, since he can do, like, you can use the archaeological brush, there's a statue that Elia found, uh, we can look for cobwebs, but my controller will also vibrate and uh, uncover secret items. And we can also get the Mantarok rune here, which is totally missable. Yep, <laughs> yeah, I know, the tone is all over the place, man. A statue of seated goddess, a seated goddess, where her neck and wrist should bear jewelry, there are merely worn grooves and flecks of bronze dust. That's what Elia put back in the 12th century. So this game takes place over 2000 years with, I think, 8 different characters. And basically, you're playing it in out of order as this main character in the year 2000 reads the book. <laughs> the the not necronomicon and uh, depending on what you do with the first character you started playing that changes the outcome of the entire game and what you have to do so it's pretty it's unique and the sanity effects i mentioned yeah the lower the sanity the more batshit crazy the game goes so we're trying to trigger as many of those as we can stolen by grave robbers no we gotta find okay so our first task is to find the uh, Oh, there we go, it vibrated. The bracelet. A thick layer of dust obscures the tiles of the floor. Okay, so we use the brush. This game is like Res if Resident Evil and Silent Hill had a baby. Uh, a pretty intense baby. There we go. A bronze bracelet has been discovered under the dust covering the floor. So this is the alignment of the ancients. You can see the Mantarok rune, the purple one, is in the middle because he keeps a binding over all that. That's what. That's why whichever ancient Pius chose at the beginning, they will work to bring Mantarok down. That is the same in all three timelines. And that's why you have to finish the game three times to beat them in all three timelines. <laughs> it's pretty cool. All right. That should open. The left passage, yeah. So we've been here with Elia. We're gonna explore some different areas, some the same as you can see. The temple is worn and it's been like there for a thousand years. There we go, the hole of the tome. So something interesting I found out when I was doing research for the for the uh, thumbnails. <laughs> Pius Augustus' statue is broken, but you know why? He broke it. <laughs> Yeah, Carter, good to see you. Welcome. So, remember when we were playing the Pius's chapter and there was the, like, tutorial on targeting that you can target arms and, I mean, limbs and the, the head separately and body? And we had to destroy the limbs and the head and the body of the statue. This is it. This is the statue. We just, Pius destroyed it himself. But it also means... Um, yeah. <laughs> it also means that he... Uh, was supposed to be yeah i know it blew my mind <laughs> he was supposed to be a guardian <laughs> of the internal darkness but he got corrupted by touching the artifact with his bare hands that's elia so who's new is karim new yeah karim's new we just played his chapter yeah because with max with whom we played last there we go We didn't get to go, go to this hole. We found a book in the mansion. That's Max. So only two, three more characters will die. Not all of them will die. So there's four, five characters we've played with so far. Here we go, let's take the book. All right. Now it's on. Now we got the spells. Uh, enchant item with, I'm gonna say, Chaturga on the shotgun right away. No fucking around. Actually, shotgun and 
and the pistol. It's gonna be useful to do that. I might even shortcut the spell. Yeah, I already did. It's on Y. Okay. So I just press Y and choose an item. And the cuckoo too. Just enchant everything and run. Ah, yeah, I know. <laughs> and the kukri. We gotta get ready, because this is... The game starts being progressively harder here. Still not impossible, but... Decisively harder. Alright, there they are. So we're gonna keep the sanity low. Oh, these are Mentoro guys. We can just burn them. But not enough. There you go. Let's wait for him to die. The craving, the carving represents the growth of the human race. Its rise to intelligence and the development of society. It foreshadows the decline of humanity. This is humanity's dusk. So he understands the drawings better than uh, than Elia did, who was from this time period. Come on, die. Yeah, there you go. I don't want to have to finish you, dude. Just burn. Like your friend there. There you go. I think he's dead. Please die. <laughs> oh, for the love of fuck. Alright. He was pretty decisive on not dying. Let's look for some clues. Nothing here. Okay, traps. We gotta be sneaky now. Oh, it's a trapper. It stepped on... It triggered one of the traps. Damn it. And it killed itself. Way to go, dude. You're the best. <laughs> Alright. Easy does it. There you go. There should be stuff here in one of the grooves. Displayed upon the pedestal is a metal bracelet. All right. Cheer! Gotta be careful. There's one. The corner is shrouded with dense cobwebs, casting it into shadow, perhaps even hiding something. Metal bracelet. No. <laughs> yeah, that'll help. Charge! Alright, another codex. Hidden behind the strings of cobwebs is a card stone tablet. We got a codex for another rune, which is good. We're gonna get tier. We're gonna be able to summon creatures. This is pretty good. We're gonna be able to summon our own trappers, zombies, and horrors. Well, not zombies and horrors right away. We'll get to that. Speaking of horrors, shit, is my shit still enchanted? I really hope it is, because otherwise, okay, this is gonna be really hard. Oh shit, no. Oh, you fooled me, sir. Okay, okay, it's protected. Br another bronze thing, bronze necklace. Hey, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Imagine. Uh, all right, thanks, Slob. Can't open it. And, oh, there we go. Slob's is a little late, so we can't. What what it's got around itself is a protect field. I think it's called something like that. So we can't do anything here for now. It's just gonna wait. If I touch that, see, it's surrounded by runes. If I touch it, I'll get hurt. So just move out of there. Get the uh, get the torch out because you, you can see without the torch, it's almost impossible to see anything here. Just careful. Oh, nice, nice. I'm not even crawling. I'm doing it. Look at me. Here we go. All right, we got what a uh, necklace, right? Yeah, bronze necklace. Okay, we got the other part of the temple. 
accessible. And the door next to the horror opens too. Because the temple is kind of circular, as you can see. So we're gonna go north now and we're gonna make a full circle and end up in the room where the horror is. Which is this room here. <laughs> Am I losing it? He's looking up, that's weird. Reunification. That sounds like a video game name. Yeah, Indiana Jones, right? <laughs> this particular depiction represents the birth of the human race within the universe. This is humanity's dawn. Okay. Oh, it is different than when Elia was here. I guess temples change in a thousand years. A stone statue of a naga, a snake-headed demon, stands guard in the corner of the room. A raised platform stands before it with a bracelet. Oh no, I feel... I feel a trap here, should I take it? Fuck it, I'll take it. Let's see. Let's save. Let's save, no? Uh, B. No, no, not that. Oh yeah, okay. So I'll need a bracelet. I can't do anything here. This is like Resident Evil puzzle. Oh, metal bracelet. That's why I need it. So this can open. Because this one's from cheap metal. And this one is silver. So this one is even better than the bronze one. Anything here? Oh shit. When you start on the pressure plate. Alright. I feel these zombies are gonna get up. Yep. There we go. At least don't let them step on the shit. At least they they burn easily, so that's going to our advantage, both with low sanity and oh shit! Don't let him do it! Don't let him do it! That was close. And keeping the HP up, archaeological brush. <laughs> with the silver one, huh? Oh, another co codex. This one is Netlek, which is. The spell. Okay, we're gonna get a lot of spells from this. Shit! I'll be right back, boys. Um, enchanted shotgun, I'm gonna say. Or enchanted pistol. No, there's too many of them. Enchant all three. They're all zealot that, so it'll work well, I think. Just slap him in the head. Ow! Okay, that's not good. That's okay. They're regrowing fast. Just in the head, and then I'll hit him in the arms. There you go. These are big guys. This guy has a wound on him. She. As long as they don't get up. Up, oh, they're gonna get up. Fuck, I'll just burn them. Sir. Down, boy. Yeah, those are Zelda. They will regrow their limbs slowly. But if you burn them, I think they'll finish them off. Yeah. Pretty sure. Yeah, there you go. They're the last guy standing. There you go. He's still flailing, and I get the rune. <laughs> uh, the design depicts humanity's fall into decadence, corruption, and ultimately oblivion. This is the humanity's night. Our time. It sure is. It sure is. There's the candles that Elliot worked with. Somehow, magically, they're still there. Everyone dead? Yeah. So we got another rune, which is summon, right? So before we even find... No, dispel. Before we even... Oh, well, let me check that. Ah, okay, I see, I see. Yeah, makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's a lot of inspiration from... 
the media <laughs> we grew up with. So we have the spell. Let's try something. New spell. Cooliot, because he sounds cool. So first we're gonna go... Where is it? Why am I missing it? There we go. The spell... Area. There we go. Then we're gonna go... What else? The, the spell... Protect area? Do we have that? Damage field. Visible. Pro protect area. Damage field. Did we have that? Yeah, we did. What about absorb area? Reveal invisible. Okay, so we got all those. Oh shit, the, the room is bleeding. What the hell? <laughs> it's going crazy. Yeah. Alright, I'll just leave the room. Do its bloody thing. Oh shit. Who triggered that? What the hell? Oh, I think zombies are there are zombies there stepping on the top. Oh god, everything's bleeding. Can't even see which which are the pressure plates. Oh. Alright, we're gonna get the mentor rune now. Yeah, that's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. New spell. Uh Oh, we don't have it yet. I'm probably gonna find it now. Are you there? Yep. Dispel magic. The one we just got. Closed door lying in shadow. Seals off the passageway. Hiding in the shadows is a statue. Hiding in the shadows, a statue watches over the room. A brief inspection reveals flecks of silver metal marring the statue's wrist and neck, possibly, to the, possibly indicating that the... Okay, so silver goes here. We need more. We need more than that. <laughs> no, they don't. Normally they don't. Look at this. It's going really going crazy this time. Chatty old fella. <laughs> Which are the pressure plates, game? Oh, this one. Can't miss it, okay. Okay, it's time to fight this thing. I'm gonna go... You know what? I'm gonna be brave. I'm gonna go with the sword. Look at me being all ballsy and whatnot. Yeah, I got an enchanted sword. What do you have, asshole? What do you have? Wait, let me let, me let you out of there. Dispel magic with red again. Okay, he's ready. Hello. Oh shit, I might need a heal. Sir. He's attacking my sanity and my health. Okay, I may have overestimated. Oh gee, he's gonna kill me, is he? Run, 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 run! <laughs> okay, take five. Deep into that darkness, this can't be happening. <laughs> okay, I'm batshit crazy now. Sanity. Help. The game is pretending it's bringing me back to the main menu. How's my health? One more time, please. I gotta do this. I don't know why I went that way. Let's take the shot then. <laughs> oh boy. The, the repeat of last night all over again. Okay, we got that. So, what did it say about Zelotet Horrors? Zelotet Horror. Eyes, 
Rot their eyes. Their staring sees through your soul like looking through a window. And the lids, festooned with tiny hook-like teeth that gape and gnash. I forgot about this. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. No anatomy would form like that. But it has. Was it natural? How could it be? Oh, unholy beast. Thou must be killed, lest you corrupt my world. Have at thee. Have at thee. <laughs> oh God. Okay, so that's that's Maximilian Roivas. I think, Re Carter, this is where... Uh, this is where the other actor came in for these bits. The game is from 2002, sis. I did. I forgot that when you're playing with other characters and you check the autopsies, he narrates. Narrates. Corpses, lumbering, rotting cadavers. What, what contrivance could have wrought this? This, this abomination. Disease, science, blasphemous occult rituals. How can something so, so dead? Be so alive and hungry. They lust for flesh, human flesh, and feast upon all the sweet breads a man has to offer. Damn, some of these are heavy. Neither the embalming salve of their wrappings nor the numbness of death could override the dominating madness that is Zenototh. Controlled, prodded into an existence by an incessant cacophony of voices penetrating every level of their psyches, these corpses are coerced into life, ambling, moaning, shrieking. Damn, he's good. <laughs> there are worlds beyond this one. Worlds as we've never seen. Nor can we. Our eyes do not open far enough. <laughs> try it. Try holding your eyes open. You can try holding them open as much as you want, but you'll Are never you seeing this, see, Sash? never ever see the world beyond the veil. The veil of reality. It's there to protect us from them, the ancients, the darkness, that which we cannot understand, nor should we. Welcome the oblivion of ignorance, for to have knowledge is to be damned. Damn, that's good. Two more left. Huh? The devils inside the servant skulls were trying to kill me. They plotted behind doors, locked and barred, and planned the downfall of the human race. I took care of the ones around me, stopped their plans. There are others, I'm sure, out there, manipulating us, secreting madness inside our very heads, while our souls are pushed into the corners of our skulls, Watching as our hands do tasks that we have no control over. Ugh. Oh, horrible, horrible things. We must purge them from our midst, kill them all, cut them, burn them. It's the only way. I know. I've done it. It works. Yeah. Well, he suffered a lot. Remember, he died. I don't know if you were awake for the end of the last episode, but his chapter ends with him being sent to the asylum because nobody believed him. That's where the May the Rats Eat Your Eyes comes from the intro. If you remember, when we started the game, the first thing, Alex fights some zombies in her dream and she hears, she's locked behind the door and she hears... Her ancestors screaming, may the rats eat your eyes, the darkness comes. <laughs> but he, like, when we play his chapter, we see it all the way. Oh, oh, gibbering insanity, wrought in flesh as though an artist had sculpted it. 
created from nothing by their mistress, Zelototh, a canvas as grotesque as any. Their bodies made no sense, no heads, no organs, an empty husk devoid of the trappings of nature, but it walked, it sang, it shrieked. A mockery of reason, both natural and mental. A blasphemy from beyond the veil. The veil has opened, and we should not see beyond. We, we weren't meant to, never, ever meant to. Oh. Give us the blessing of ignorance, the happiness of oblivion. Innocence can only be tainted, never returned. Oh God, okay. So this guardian you don't even see as Max because that's the last thing you killed before his chapter is over. I'm glad I checked this. Let's, did I save? Yeah, I can't save because the darkness is coming. Fuck you, guy. Did you see that? Yeah. So that that definitely wasn't uh, that definitely wasn't Michael Bell uh, Carter. So that was the other actor. Oh shit, you gotta step on it, huh? And having low sanity doesn't help because the the view is skewed. Oh god. Can you save now? Nope. It's not safe to save. Why? What? Something's happening, I think. Nothing special about it. So the temple is a little different. But he sees a part that... Oh shit! That Elia didn't see. Because she just fell, remember? Let them burn. Oh, I gotta restore some sanity probably. Oh shit, there's one of those guys downstairs. Got another rune? There's a guardian downstairs. Uh, hmm. Can I... What can I do? What can I do? I'm gonna replenish some sanity. And just use the shotgun. The enchanted one. Should have killed the guy. Which is what I'm gonna do. There, uh, there... So what those guardians do, they... Oh, it's so dark without the torch. Try to see shit in this darkness. This eternal darkness. They keep draining your sanity continuously. As you can see, when he does that, that's the only time I can damage him. But I gotta be careful. He, if he grabs me, he does like a latch attack. Okay, it's dead already. Reloading is like an outbreak. You either hold the Z button, which is like R1, or... You gotta combine it in the inventory. Hey, hey Waluigi, good to see you. How are you? Yeah, but I mean the guardians continuously drain the sanity. Every other monster, just when you see it for the first time, you lose some. But the guardians, they never stop draining it. So now we need a summon spell. Because uh, we'll, we'll want to summon our own trapper and get the Mantorok rune. Where was it? We're gonna make the spell right away. So, uh, Julius, because his voice is sexy. Oh, we're still missing one. Wait, really? I can't do it? What did I get? I'm still missing the summon rune. And I have a rune which I don't understand. Okay, so that's the difference. No sanity! Yeah, no sanity. Well, just enough so we can hear the music. So. Something like this, just below, because if it goes too low, it just keeps playing those psychedelic noises, and that's really not... As much as I appreciate them, I don't like listening to them for like six hours straight. Was there anything up there? Let's check something for an archaeologist to find. 
Because he keeps looking at shit. Look at that. He's focusing on something. I don't know what. Maybe possible sanity effects. I mean... Yeah, possible sanity effects. No, nothing here. Hi, kitty. Come on. Oh, he's getting tired. His, his stamina is pretty weak. His, like, sanity, pretty high. HP, moderate. Mana, already weak. But stamina is, like, the weakest, I think, on him. Look at... He's, like, two floors, he's tired. Can't breathe. <laughs> Greetings, human. Well, yeah, they are. Like, echoing in your head. Like he's stoned out of his brain. Everything trying to kill me! <gasps> okay, where are we, game? Where did you put me now? Another huge hallway. Oh, are you getting up, sir? Yep, he's getting up. Down, boy. And that's... Well, I hope they would kill him. It wasn't timed well. I'm gonna go this way. Counterclockwise. Oh, gee. I'm not even sneaking. Look at that. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, boy. Chaturga. Just the way it says Chaturga. Oh no, you can't save in this room. Where am I now? Statue of an unknown goddess, seated in a classical pose. She appears to be carrying something valuable. Yeah, but we can't take it. Because we gotta make this guy turn. That's right. fast gold bracelet there you go because as soon as he looks at the goddess she closes her hands statue of a carved granite depicting a ceremonial temple guard oh like the one that was voiced by uh, David Hader it appears to be keeping watch on the seated goddess in the corner of the room yep not anymore I was faster there's a panel ah okay so this I didn't know for years what this was this is for resetting the traps in the adjacent rooms, uh, specifically the gas, which is one of the pressure plates can trigger gas that slowly kills you. Let's save. Oh, jeez, there we go. Oh, my head fell off. Can I get my head back, please? Oh, my arm. Please, game, can I get my arm back? I need my, oh my god, my other arm. I can still walk though, I got legs. Can't fool me. Oh jeez, okay. I can't walk anymore. This <laughs> isn't really happening. <laughs> okay, that was a good one game. Uh so we can't we can't jump over this. Is my HP now okay? No, okay. It didn't count the damage. But the gas starts. Oh gee. I think I should have gone the other way. Yeah, there it is. Fuck it, 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 fuck it. Woo! Slow enough. So here I want red, green, blue. Red, so green, the spell magic, which is Zelda. We need that. There's a small basin or font situated basin, I think, situated beneath the statue. Beside that, an orb-shaped button sits on a panel of stone. Okay, so we'll need... This is for a 
puzzle gold bracelet. We need another set of jewelry. Don't step on that, asshole. No! Okay. I guess it killed itself. Shut up, sounds. Okay, he triggered that, so... Be on the lookout for those... Cobwebs. Okay, gold. So this is for that one. We're gonna need more, though. I hear a zombie. He's gonna step on the thing. Oh, no. God, you killed us both. You idiot. No. Oh, you stupid thing. Ah. Charge! Will I make it? Yes. Better. Oh no! I, I didn't even look. They're they're fucking. Oh, they're Chaturga zombies. I need red, green, blue. So blue to red. So I need Ulia. Ulia. No. Okay, calm down. <laughs> it's not too bad. Enchant item with Ulia. Are you shitting me? You're still standing, guy? Alright, let's finish him. I do like this, though. Check this out. The finishing animation with the pistol. Put it out of its misery. <laughs> okay. So we need another dispel here. It's green. Which means red, red. It's two out of three. Yeah, I was just wondering the same thing, honestly. Let's check it out. Let's let's test it. I don't think you can, but nope, that or the torch. <laughs> really, what would they do? Enchanted. What is that supposed to be? It kind of reminds me of Soul Reaver 1, the temple design. Okay, there's one more left. Where could it be? Shit, is it gonna be the gas? I feel it's gonna be the gas. The gas again. Oh, he's, he's just... So, sometimes when they go... Oh, when they go a little crazy, they... Oh, you can't heal when the gas is there. Shit, 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 I didn't save in a while. I better go back. I'm dying. Fuck sanity, fuck everything. Okay, the gas is over. Jesus Christ. Tiny tornadoes? Jeez. I'm still insane, though. Like that shit crazy. Ah! Why did I step on you? You can't go around it like some other traps. Oh god. Just run. Ignore everything. Oh boy. Oh gee, Rick, I'll be right back. It's behaving again. Be 
That was what? Uh, an Uliot one? Yep, it was. I'll be right back, boy. Just don't go anywhere. My sanity is like done. A little better. Uliot, red, green. So we need green. I'll just go with the shotgun. Let's not dick around too much. Yeah, yeah, I remember that, like, near the end of the game. Look at how much it hurts him, like, it actually stuns him. You dead? Yeah, okay. Let's finish him with the shotgun, check this out. Almost stuck it in its mouth. All right. There's one. Okay, that's a dirt encrusted one. So we need to clean that. Cysts of corroded metal upon its surface. It's difficult to tell what it looks like. Perhaps it can be cleaned somehow. Yes, it can. But before that, what was this? Red. So blue, Uliot. Blue, yeah. I just love his voice. There we go, we opened it. That was the binding on to enter the room where we can find the Mentorok rune. Mentorok rune is very useful because it covers all three aspects of uh, all three ancients. So for instance, when you cast heal, it heals both stamina, uh, both sanity and health. Where are you looking? Oh Jesus. Where am I? Just an idol, I think. Where am I now? Oh, this this is going okay. We need another golden thing, though, before we. I can't. No, no, no! Don't let him! Don't let him get me! Oh, help me! Still missing something. Still missing the summon. Did I did I leave it somewhere? Oh god, I don't know where it could be. Let's make a whole circle again. Maybe I need to go down and then go back up. Because the ending of this chapter is soon. And why is why is it backwards now? I'm going the wrong way, am I? I'm missing the summon rune. Let's save before going downstairs. Nope, can't save. That's where we got one. Maybe it's downstairs, really. Uh. Don't be tasty. It's kind of don't be hasty, but also don't die from gas or the blades or anything. No, no, what are you? No, get away from me. But don't be hasty. Goodbye, room. Hmm. 
stop the gas at least. I'll check this floor one more time. If it's downstairs, I wouldn't be surprised. I'm just... Look, it looks like there's something there. You hear that? Oh, that's, that's a trap. Watch out. It's bleeding again. Yeah, where's that fountain? That's what I'm that's what I need. I need the fountain. The fountain will give me where is it? Was it back here? I'm gonna I'm gonna bet it's up ahead here. Is it here? Yes it is. Nice. So I need to put the necklace there. And then Let acid wash all over it. This water, water, <laughs> smells like a strong acid, perhaps strong enough to dissolve metal or flesh, if Lindsay isn't careful. Lindsay wasn't careful, and he got a gold necklace. All right, we need to put that on the golden lady, which is Where was she? Back here, I think? Yeah, I think she was back here. Oh, it's still bloody. It remembers the blood. There she is. That's what we need, that's right. Since my parents died. Yes. Ever since they were killed, you've been my little girl. Yes. My little girl. This isn't really happening. So he's also hallucinating about Alex some 20 years before it happens. Pretty cool for someone who's hallucinating. Wait, that's another hallway? Which one? Which one should I take? I'm gonna go. Damn, is this the way forward? Go back. Yeah, I'm not gonna... Hmm. I'm afraid that I might triggered the chapter end and that wouldn't be good at all and I can't save here because there are enemies oh shit these guys they don't care about the uh, they don't care about the uh, torch because they're chaturga zombies they regenerate very quickly so since they're chaturga we're gonna enchant the 45 with Uliot, right? Blue, yeah. Hi, kitty. That's gonna make it easier for the. Oh shit, there's a horror there too. It's a pistol, you don't have to walk into their places. Oh, it pierces! Nice! Oh gee. All right, I'm ready for you. Oh, this guy's back alive. Don't do that. Just in the head, nothing else. Did it work? Yeah. Don't let him, 
Somebody get me. Oh, help me. You know, that's not really him. <laughs> that's the deal. You, it becomes more and more obvious as you progress. Okay, we could save now. Let's hope this is not the chapter end, because this it is. If it is, I'll just reload. And I think it is. I think I'm heading actually towards the chapter end, which I don't want to do yet. Right? Let's check it out. Yeah, this goes somewhere as well. I'm gonna go to the other one. If I'm mistaken, I can always reload this save. Because I was here already. Yeah, Carter knows. Well, who else in the game likes to, you know, impersonate other people? Who tried to trick Lindsay at the start of this chapter, huh? Okay, I gotta rest. Damn it, man, you gotta run. Okay, from here doesn't matter where I go so we're going south now we're gonna make a circle and go to the other side of the temple oh you did cool I don't know which one's worse to step on. None of them are good. Keep running, keep running. So this is where we need to use it. Which side is that? That's the south side. Let's remember, because I'll need to come back here later. Woo! Let's get the torch. It'll be easier... ...to run through these things. Oh shit! Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh god, this is the worst that can happen. When they keep pinballing you left and right. Jesus Christ. There it is. Fuck me, this one goes upstairs? Yeah. Is that where I came from? That's where I came from, isn't it? Yeah, this is where we came from. This leads... Yeah, to this floor. Okay. So it's not here. Damn, will I have to go back? I'm kind of... Always fear I'll miss it, and I know I'll always find it, and it's gonna turn out to be exactly where I was supposed to be. Let's check it out. I mean, we still have this save, so... Nothing to check here? Do you remember, Carter? Is the summon rune up ahead? I think you need it. Or is it the only skippable rune? Yeah. So which one now? Oh, you can... Oh god. Good. There's a lot of them. This will help though. Because they're all mantarog zombies. There there's the rune. I'm pretty sure it's behind this cobweb. Yeah. Easy to burn bastards. one more so I don't go instantly into insanity when I see the next thing no. yeah there's a lot of it is skippable air attack that's creature okay we got the creature codex so we just need the summon rune Yes, thank you, love. Thank you. No 
<laughs> Which runes do we have? So we're just missing... Yeah, we got creature. We can make some new spells. Protect creature, absorb creature, dispel creature, project creature maybe. Let's try. There we go. Whatever that was. Self creature, yeah. <laughs> mm, creature, what else can be? Area creature, item creature, dispel creature? No, absorb creature. No, that's not a thing. So we got the spell 12. We're gonna get the rest of the spells quickly now. We don't know what this is yet. Because we need the. Because we need to add the actual, what is it called? Uh, uh, oh, look at the burning skull. We need a spell. What is that called? Oh, look at this guy. No, I didn't want to examine that, but okay. The eroded mural appears to depict the arrival of a strange godlike entity before an ancient human tribe. Lindsay cannot recognize the god in the mural. He is mystified. So that's Mantarok arriving in front of the ancient Khmer people. So this temple was basically built around him. He came from space, kinda. Pennywise, huh? <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I have the torch, right? Yeah. You can't examine the zombie. I don't know what it's doing there. Probably just a random dude hanging about. Let's still save. No, we can't. Okay. That's okay. I feel like the rune's gonna be here. Why is it so dark even with the torch? Like, what would it be like without the torch? Let's see. Like, pitch black. Can't see shit beyond the fire. The lack of music doesn't sound good. Oh, there it is. The GameCube sticks are magnificent. Some of the best analog sticks. Oh, controller history. I like how he just turned towards me. So these guys can explode. We gotta be quick so they don't blast us. Uliad zombies are dangerous if they they gang up on you and you don't attend to them. As we've seen in the last episode, I almost killed myself. Still have enough shotgun ammo and pistol ammo. Headshot, headshot, what you gonna do? Oh god, we need more. We need more. Quickly enchant something. Red, green, blue, huh? Blue... Use the pistol. I don't use the pistol often. Does it pierce? Yeah, it pierces. Cool. Come on, dude. I love the piercing, though. need more actually eats to your ammo pretty fast let's use it up I knew it damn these bastards are hard to kill not now kill him just wasting pistol finishers there you go that's enough of pistol for this run <laughs> I think. Okay, let's check this out now. A dilapidated mural depicts the ancient Khmer people coexisting with some kind of fertility god. They offer sacrifice to the beast and in return are showered with benevolence, good crops and hunting. Oh, look at that, they're dan dancing, the fertility dance. They're dancing the fertility dance, yep. 
It's very detailed. Now where's the rune game? Let's save. What's my health? You can't move as long as the spell is not chanted. So if I try to cast a spell, any spell, and I move, it cancels the spell, but I still lose mana. So it's like a double-edged sword. You gotta be, you gotta do it at the right time. Otherwise, it comes back to bite you in the butt. Bite you in the butt. Nothing there. Nothing there. Oh shit, this is not good. Okay, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Okay, there's Elthad, they will burn. Come on. Don't mute the game now. I like how I like how he's very reasonable about it. This isn't really happening. <laughs> like any other character would be like, "Oh my god, this isn't happening." He's like, "This isn't really happening." I'm still crazy though. <laughs> ah, damn it, Carter. Yeah. Detail. Detail, please. A damage engraving on the wall depicts a skeletal demon befriending the ancient Khmer people. To Lindsay's eyes, the demon looks exactly like Paul Augustine's undisguised self, otherwise known as Paul... Uh, Paul? <laughs> Pius Augustus. There he is, our boy Pius, arriving in Cambodia, ancient Cambodia. And being like, Mantorok is evil, listen to me, I am your friend. And they listen to him, doofuses. Okay, let's make that summon creature spell and go get Mantorok. So, whoa, 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 whoa. No, new spell. Creature. Wait, where's summon? Summon. Creature. <laughs> What else is there with summon? Like summon... Summon self. <laughs> summon protect. Yeah, there's nothing else with summon. There should be more spells though. We'll see, as we need them. Let's go get it now. Is this where I came from? Well, I know, I'll know when I change rooms, right? Yeah, it is. Who's Roivas? Lindsay? What, what do you mean by super secret magic? Oh. This isn't really happening. All right, Mr. Logical. All right, so I was giant. Shit. Be right back. I am slightly insane. Where the fuck am I? Oh, is it another sanity effect game? Where am I? 
What is... Am I... A, this is a new one. Oh yeah, that's what I was saying. That's where I'm going. Yeah, I'm on the ceiling again. Damn it. <laughs> I was like, where the fuck am I? Yeah, that's why I needed the summon creature spell so bad. Really? Thanks, though. I keep... Am I going the right way now? Yeah, I am. There's the burning head. Yeah. Oh, God. I'm a little hasty because I'm like... I want to get there fast. Let's just go up. Yeah, there we go. Oh, this doesn't look good. Am I... Something feels wrong. <laughs> Probably the sanity. Yeah, like, where the fuck am I? Okay, rest. Let's rest our hero. We need to get south. I remember that. So that's just... Okay. Where I came out of? I go left. Which is straight here. I keep like... Like I'm gonna see above that <laughs> banner, whatever it was. So it's gonna be here. Let's not make it harder. Oh, this one. Oh, that's it. Okay. So. We need summon creature. Oh, can't do that now. I forgot to turn my phone off. Summon creature, it doesn't matter which, so we'll go with Uliot, I guess. Oh, that sexy voice. <laughs> Here we go. You got a control of a trapper. After a trapper has been summoned, press A to trap an enemy when it is targeted using R. Press start to release control of the trapper. Trappers cannot open doors nor pick up items. So I can control the trapper now. You can send creatures to the trapper dimension and if you go there with your character later you'll actually see them. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I gotta avoid these guys. Can I send one of these guys away? Can I even aim at them? No, they're too far away. I can't approach them. Yeah, too bad. So we can't actually use him on these two. Because he needs to be close to them. The trapper spots a panel inset in the floor. Circular in the shape. In shape and with a linear runic design engraved upon it. So that opened somewhere else. Here. We want to go there to do something. For a small dog to pass through. Imagine, yeah. Hi, Najuni. Here's a stretch. Oh, God. There we go. Yeah, you can send them to the to their trapper dimension. You'll just keep finding whatever you sent there. Oh, there it is. Seek secret in the inside the alcove a rune awaits. Its energy is silently corroding the air about it. Shit, I forgot about that. I should have... <gasps> I forgot I'll need to fight it right away. And I have no sanity. Well, let's hope this helps. Oh, shit. I got it. Jesus, no! Let's get him in there. Yeah. Is he dead? Yeah. Oh, 
Okay, that went okay. <laughs> Let's kill the gas. That's my inventory. Isn't really happening. Fair perception. <laughs> All right. We gotta do the gas. Oh, it didn't work. I think because I pushed the button back there. Is the other one still there? Yep. I'll be right back, boy. So it's a green one. It's a Zelotat, which means we can actually kill it with Chaturgas in general. Let's just shoot it in the face, it'll be good. Just avoid the lightning. I'll be right back. Goodbye, sir. Oh shit, I didn't even see that guy there. Do I need to fill something? Yeah, let's fill up health. No enemies? Oh shit, I spoke too soon. What are they, blue? No, they're green. Perfect. Oh no 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 Come on Okay Woo There's another one there It's Uliath, right? So the last bullets Let's use the last bullets on it Mm, Ulia, that's blue, which means green. Oh, you can't cast spells, that's right. Burn! Scary guys. The Uliad zombies. Mantra Codex, I believe. Runes, yep. So we got all four as alignment runes now. We're just missing one rune here. And we're missing the spells, though. I think we'll find them later. So the actual spell uh, scrolls. Because we can't ad identify them. Yeah. Alright, that's it for this part. Let's go back down. Uh, so it was, it was east? Yeah, it was east. So I keep going from here where I went, I go left. I still didn't, I've got to turn that off. Hold on, just got to move. Okay, now. Alright, I came from there, so I go here. Watch out. Am I in the right one? Yeah. So now I just go down the stairs and go back to the other level. This is what I meant when I said the last time this game has several 
Spencer Mansion's worth of exploring because several of these uh, levels, this one specifically, is kind of like that in uh, the layout, like the RPD or the Spencer Mansion. So if you're familiar with that, you'll be familiar with this. Oh, wait. We can save. This is like... Which one do you want to... Oh! Step one. Every... Each one that hits you just start stops doing its thing. So it's kind of good, but still. The game's not easy. Uh, when you step on too many of them. Don't let him. Don't let him get me. Oh, help me. Still don't see the spell thing. This is where we found the rune, I'm pretty sure, right? Yep. One more. Does this go anywhere? No. Oh, that's where... Is that where Elia fell from? I think it is. Yeah, this is where Elia fell and broke her sword. And this is where the guard was that was attacked. Only there was a wall here. And we helped him and uh, he repaired the sword. Yeah. There's the zombie that won't get up. Still, still weird. I didn't find the spell scroll. Where could it be? I've seen all of this. There's nothing here. No archaeological stuff to dig through. No, no, what are you? No, get away from me! Jesus. Gotta be really precise with this. You just speed up if you keep pressing it. I see no cobwebs yet. Oh, there's the spell scroll. Okay. Time to fight some Uriel zombies, I guess. Hmm. But how, though? The last of the bullets for that. Uh, Uliot, so blue, blue, blue. Blue. Green. Green. What am I gonna use? Yeah, let's dispatch him quickly. Oh, they're getting smaller. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm tripping more. Just catch up with the shotgun. Oh no, that guy's gonna explode. All right, it's time. Oh, they're still not dead. Hmm, left with very little ammo. Yep, 
And he's very tired, but we can do this. We can do this, my man. Pull your zombies, damage your mana as well. Summon Trapper, there you go. Where was it? Spell list, yeah, okay, Summon Trapper, got it. I don't know what this next one is. What was that? Let's try it. Mentorok. Is that protect? Yeah, that's protect. So protect, mentor, protect. Protects you from all three uh, ancient creatures. So it's very useful. The camera is still tripping balls. So if I wanna, if I want this to stop, I need to cure some sanity. Nah, we'll leave it. We want some effects. Lindsay's, Lindsay finds this mural frighteningly familiar. It is the scene he saw in the Tome of Eternal Darkness. The fertility god must be Mantorok and this temple must be its tomb. So he figured it out. This is what Elia saw. This is what er Elia read at the beginning of her chapter. Uh, Pius here on the left, uh, sealing Mantorok so that his agent could, you know, do their thing. No, no levers here, nothing, okay. Let's move on. Is it time to face the man himself? Oh, here we go. It's the Mantorok room. Easily controlled. What makes you think I want to control it? <laughs> Elegant man. Kill him. Make sure you succeed. This oh, that's what I needed. That's what I needed. My. Okay, no, yeah. Good. Two of them would be too much. Mantorok was like, "Fuck you, man." He still got some power left in him. The darkness shall. As you can see, Pius here shed himself, which means they're all weak to Mantorok. The corpse god Mantorok defies all human description. Massive, amorphous, perhaps, but these words only capture the gross, gross nature of the beast, not the specifics. Its form, seemingly without design or true function, stirs as Lindsay's awakened by his presence. With every breath, the creature's many mouths sigh and cough, sputtering its torches death throes. That's all there is. Pretty ugly. Yeah, he binds all three of them. They're like the rock, paper, scissors. He's the kid that cheats and wins anyway. <laughs> In essence. Oh look, the statue is broken. I like the passage. They don't didn't they didn't use the same map, literally. They yeah, Nix's cousin. Good one, Lupka. I'm proud of you. Oh god, I didn't even think of that. I like how the temple is dilapidated. So they they it's the same location, but you can see time passed. It's like that with all the levels. We'll be back to the cathedral where Anthony was. Spock. <laughs> Thanks, John. Nyx is the final boss of Resident Evil Outbreak 2. Well, optional final boss, which is a bioweapon that consumes other things and kind of looks gross like this. This is, I've never played this game with that looked this good, because I always, like I said, I always played it on my old TV. And 
are just seeing some things for the first time. Yes, the textures are 2002 blurry, but it's still it's beautiful. Beautiful, man. Are we done? Yeah, I think this is it for him. Do not touch the heart, flesh and bone, lest you become like me, a dead, rotted husband. That's Elia, the second character we played as in the 12th century. It was not easy hiding from the Dark Ones as they searched for me. At first they passed by, not thinking that the heart was inside my dead body. But I was forced you don't know where it is? Here. You must seal the heart so it never contacts your flesh and take it to the gathering of light. Ah, the Roy was mentioned. Take the heart there, or the world shall fall under a reign of eternal darkness. The veil of reality can only be pulled back so far, mortal. Take your stand and fight the darkness. There's Grandpa, old Edward. So now we know where the heart is. This cutscene shows us. Th this is written, so she's still reading from the book, right? Everything that's happening. The demon of the Khmer. The demon and the Khmer. <laughs> nice clue, Gramps. Chapter complete. The second cutscene with the planets. Everything's still red. Damn, she's so much faster than he is. Look at her. She's just zipping through the room. They all have different stats and everything. Completely different characters. And they feel, when you play with them, they feel like different characters. Sneaking around my own house. Oh, there's the books. Did you see that? There was a book. The sound design is just splendid. Oh shit. That she did that on her own. Sometimes when they lose sanity and she's losing sanity, because we're reading from the tome and not curing sanity. Sometimes when they, their sanity is low, they punch the air and use their weapons. Look, it's a floating book. There's the demon and the Khmer. Alex discovers a pulp novel written by one Dr. Edwin Lindsay amongst the books on the shelf. This is where the Tome of Eternal Darkness indicated that something of value was hidden. Behind this book. Should Alex look behind the book? With the book removed, the secret cache is revealed. Inside is the heart of Mantorok, encased in glass to protect the world from its corrosive energies. Should Alex claim the heart of Mantorok? Yes. These books contain the history of the royal's family. Yeah, so we we checked that before, but we couldn't. There was nothing to see. So with the art now, pulses with unholy life. Although the corpse god itself festers elsewhere, its power resides with within this artifact. All right. So where to now? As the game progresses, I didn't mention that, yeah, the the day passes, so this is all happening in a day for her. And it's already evening. Well, late evening. It was earlier when we started the game. She's also tripping shit. Where were we before this? So what did we get from this level? Previous one. We got a spell, I think. 
Now it's interesting though, yeah, as she reads, she f she learns all this. That's as they learned it, they passed it on to her. So what next? The spell magic? Yeah, the spell magic. Wait, we had that, right? Damage field, the spell magic. Yep. The one up here. I think. Wait, that means we could have done this chapter before. So these two chapters are interchangeable? I never thought about it. It's green, red. So red, the spell. Yeah. Oh no, we didn't have the spell magic, right? We just got it. That's why it's not in shable. There you go. As the magical window fades away, the piece of parchment that the maiden was holding is left behind, floating in midair. It, all, it appears to be a chapter page. Here we go, another. Heresy. This is one of my favorite chapters. It's heavily influenced by uh, Name of the Rose by... Uh, what was the guy's name? Umberto Echo? Yeah. This is back in the cathedral where... Uh, where Anthony was, the zombified guy, the guy who becomes a zombie at the end of his. Yeah. Damn, that's a strong spell. Where did you get that? Alright, he's summoning the guy. The guy. <laughs> the guy. Oh, the movie, I, I didn't see I it. Though Sasha Just said we must see it. So that, we have that. And so we have that. I know the book because my uh, sister bought, elder sister bought like five cop copies, I think. They came with something. I remember we had too many names of the rows in the house. Hear that? What's going on? Oh, yeah, another room's bleeding. All right, we got another chapter. Before we start with the heresy chapter, give me two minutes. I'm just going to run to the bathroom real quick. Be right back. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be right back with more Eternal Darkness. Are we here? Here we go. Come back, camera. There we go. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to episode 2 of Eternal Darkness, Sanity's Requiem. We're doing Zelda run. And getting into the heresy chapter. <laughs> Greetings. Take a seat and a copy of <laughs> Name of the Rose. <laughs> there, imagine such a family. <laughs> Here we go. In Europe, during the time of the Inquisition, paranoia and corruption ran deep. With the fear of devilry running rampant, the ancient's corruption extended far beyond mortal knowledge, corrupting all that could be corrupted. My researches uncovered an interesting incident. A Franciscan monk named Paul Luther was traveling through the region of Amiens during the witch hunts of the Inquisition. Now, under martial law, the Inquisition prevented anyone from leaving the town and its nearby cathedral. For everyone was suspect. 1485. So, was it like about 500 years after Anthony? Welcome to Oublier Cathedral, Brother Luther. Obviously not biased. Glad that our sacred order can bestow. Look at he's so creepy in this chapter. On our Franciscan brethren. I shall not impose, Excellency. I merely request lodging and a viewing of the sacred relic. 
the hand of Jude. Many have traveled far and even risked their lives for a glimpse of the hallowed relic's true splendor. Of course, it would be wise to keep quiet during your stay. The Inquisition is here for a reason, brother. Miscuse. We seek to purge the deviancy from this town. I am sure that will not be a problem. Amiens appears to be a peaceful hamlet. It appears to be. But deviancy is secreted in the most deceptive places, which I believe is the case with Amiens. Then I wish you luck in your search. The Inquisition does not need luck, Brother Luther. Faith and purity are our guides. So creepy. <laughs> yeah, he reminds me of the... <laughs> of the guy from... Uh, <laughs> uh, Eurotrip, the creepy Italian guy. When he starts massaging uh, Scotty and goes, Miscusi, Miscusi, Miscusi. <laughs> uh, two, three, four, five, six. So six save files we can save. All right. Where to first? I forgot which order this goes to. Goes in. It's locked. Okay. Anything else to see here? So I remember this guy has the lowest stamina. Maybe even lower than Max. I think. Not really a physical type. So he has, yeah, his HP, as you can see, is just horrible. <laughs> He's very easy to kill. Considering the, 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 the chapter he is in, that can be pretty bad, so gotta be, uh, yeah, that's true. Gotta be very careful. His sanity is okay, and his mana is pretty high. He also starts with a meditation rod, which the priest's meditation rod is a small staff used as a focus for meditative prayer. Using it will allow Paul to med med meditate and regain some lost sanity. So it regains sanity, not HP, which will be very useful. We did save with Paul Luther. Yeah, it does, really. He just gets... Is there anyone here? Oh, yeah, I mixed it up with the... With the World War One chapter with Raziel. Look at the lighting effects. My god. Oh, we're suddenly in Resident Evil 4. <laughs> Beautiful. So this is the, the new part of the cathedral. What we saw during the Charlemagne chapter was uh, the old tower, which we'll go to. But yeah, these two. There's a lot to see, but the examine prompt doesn't even appear or you can't examine stuff while running you have to stand or walk so that's a knight that looks too good for medieval art <laughs> a priestess I guess well this is just getting silly now a lancer with a sword and another warrior. I don't think there's anything here for me yet. A thick braided rope serves to ring the church bell. Usually it is the custodian's task to ring the bell at appropriate times. Perhaps we will be along later to ring it. Did something like what? What did I say? What did you say? Oh, there's the door. No torch yet. Oh, you mean from these things? Is there something there or just shadow, huh? The graphics of this game reminds me a lot of... Uh, Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance, which was, well, the first game was on PS2 and GameCube for sure. Not sure about the Xbox. And the se yeah, I think it was. And the second one was only PS2 and Xbox. They dropped the GameCube, or at least just the PS2. Yeah, they did that in RE4. <laughs> but yeah, this was before, so 
who knows, this was before RE4. I think if we stay away from this part, we should be able not to trigger the cutscene. Yeah. Because I want to go here first, I think. Yeah, I want to grab the torch, for sure. Torch hangs upon the wall. It's a little cheaty to do it this way, but it makes it easier. Because we'll need this stuff. A heavy wooden chest sits against the room's wall. It appears to be old and worn. Should pull open the chest. Oh, nice! A crossbow lies within the open chest. So he has a crossbow, which is a ranged weapon. Not a really good one, but powerful and accurate weapon that shoots a wooden bolt. Just because it's very slow, otherwise it is powerful. The rack carries robes and cloaks for ceremonial use. As Paul draws the robe back, something tumbles from inside. He got the podium key. <laughs> well, I mean, normally people would go down the middle aisle and, you know, stumble upon the cutscene, but because, well, you'll see what happens in the cutscene, we're not gonna do that. I think we can trigger it now. I could unlock the podium. Could I? Right away? I think it, there's something in it. A simple podium and a lectern provides a platform for a priest giving a sermon to his congregation. There's a drawer recessed inside it. The podium drawer is locked. But we have the podium key. A tiny brass key for the podium in the cathedral apse. Yeah. A diary page lies inside the open drawer. Should Paul take it? The diary of Brother Andrew, page 1. I have finally arrived at Amiens, and my pilgrimage to see the hand of Jude draws to a close. I can't, cannot wait to lay eyes upon the sacred relic. My journey here has been arduous, and it shall be good to relax for a while in this peaceful village. Amiens is full of good people, strong in their faith and their role in our world. If the blight of witchcraft is present in this world, then I doubt it is in Am Amiens. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Let's go. Let's go get accused for murder. That's how you do it. Can you examine these? Examine these? No. There might be something on the benches. I don't know if it was with him or no. Because there's another part later in this place in World War One. For the love of God! God! Help! Come quickly! Look at him, he's so creepy the way he moves. A murder! A murder most foul! What heresy is this? I I found him lying here, dead. I called the guards. Ah, is this our first suspect? What an asshole! No what a perfect asshole! It must be examined for signs of devilry. Devil. As for this man, make sure he doesn't leave the cathedral. We will question him later. But hold your tongue, Franciscan, or it might bring my wrath upon thee. Who is to say that you did not commit this murder? If you trust in the Almighty, and you are indeed innocent, then you will have nothing to fear. Now that's an angry guy. A somber por portrait of a monk stares icily from the wall. Something about those grim, staring eyes sparks doubt and suspicion in Paul. Is this the face of a holy man?
The painting captures Paul's attention. A small emerald disguised as part of the painting glints in the candlelight, as though it has some value beyond being a precious gem. Should Paul try to retrieve the emerald? There we go. Are you here to pass sentence on me? No. I'm here to free you. You are in incredible danger. This cathedral used to be a place of peace. Now many strange things happen here. I don't want you to end up like the others. What do you mean? The body you found was Brother Andrew, and he was killed to protect a secret. Can't talk about it here. Find me in the bell tower later, and I shall aid thee further. Why are you releasing me? I don't want to see another innocent die like your Franciscan brethren. I have seen Brother Andrew make numerous entries into his journal. This may contain the answers to the cathedral's dark secrets. What can I do? If I were you, I'd run. They will surely hunt me if I run. This has to stop. Then be it on your own head, Luther. Find Brother Andrew's journals if you can. He spent time in the old tower investigating. I believe I can find the key to the old tower in one of my stores. Later, come find me in the bell tower, and I will give it to you. Be swift. We can't evade them forever. Okay, so that's what we got the first page of the journal. We need more. A framed fragment of, of written verse. It is in Latin and makes references mostly to diabolical entities and how man is dominated by them if he strays from the rights of protection. And I like how like you see it the way he sees it. Just the way you hear it, the way he hears it. There we go. That's what we're supposed to see. Anything else here? So, we can go out now. Up! Oh! Yeah, the monks are just crazy spooky, senpai. <laughs> here we go. Who's been added here? Oh, nobody. You know why? Because Lindsay's not dead. He doesn't end up in the hole of the tomb. Here we go, okay. We got the tome, we got the spells. I only have the crossbow with no ammo so far, but, but we can still recover sanity. We can heal, we can attack with magic, which is what we're gonna be doing with him, I say, right? Oh yeah, we can cast the Mantarok Protect spell. Let's do that. Actually, you know what? We should probably shortcut that spell as well. So spell list, it's spell seven. Assign, Mantarok, we're gonna put it protection. We're gonna put it to Let's say right deep pad. There you go. So we gotta find proof of devilry in the church. Where is the dead guy? I don't get to see him, I guess. Oh, nice. Bolts. I need those. Excellent. So, five bolts. Before I go to the next room, I will uh, enchant it. The cathedral's tabernacle. Is it tabernacle? I think it's tabernacle. It's fashioned from aged varnished mahogany. Its doors are closed and there doesn't appear any way of opening them manually. So we're gonna have to solve this riddle. Little bit of riddle. Is this 
door, it's open, okay? So we can go to the basement. I can preach here if I feel like it. Anything here? The altar is bereft of holy adornment. No crucifix, no Bible, no sacrament of any kind. Paul is disturbed by this sight. What faith does the order practice? Yeah, mahogany. Man, it's like it's a people value mahogany, but my experience with it. So I used to work. One of my jobs in the past was uh, in a carpenter shop, uh, and I was on the sandpapering department. <laughs> Man, like mahogany dust, when you breathe it in, it stings like you breathe in ground spicy peppers. It's just disgusting. That's that's the old, first thing I think of when I think mahogany. <laughs> Playing the organ is a daunting challenge for someone like Paul, who has no musical talent. Paul could probably play the organ if there was some music to play. Alright, I know you Resident Evil puzzle. We got the torch. I don't think there's anything else in this room. Pretty sure we got everything. So I didn't need to trigger that ahead of time. Only for the torch though. So I can see shit. Is there anything here? Because he keeps looking. Oh. So remember, he hears, you hear what he hears. There's rain outside. Basically the, the SFX the sound effects uh, are coming from his ears. Like whatever's on his left side, we hear it on our left side. I like that. I can hear yet. So this is the old tower, I think. Paul knows that the door to the old tower is locked. Perhaps the custodian might have the key. Come on, Paul. You need to exercise, man. Look at him, he's already... Oh, he's out. Okay, he's not as bad as Maximilian, I'm gonna say. I think Max still has lower stamina. There we go. Oh, gee. Hmm. Just go downstairs. So good when I can see what's happening in the game. Oh, there's a book. The liquids. The desk bears a letter-bound book. Paul has found the book of reliquaries. Reliquaries? Reliquaries. Um, this is the forgeries of the re reliquaries? Reliquaries? Dating back to the late 13th century. Exquisitely illuminated and bound with hard letter. It reads, Doubtless, many obscure orders requiring more income than can be garnered from the tithe resorted to forging ancient relics to bring people from outside their religion to their diocese, and thus become more lucrative. While it could be said that a false hope is still hope, relics such as Cuthbert's jawbone, the hand of Jude, and the infamous thigh bone, of fl thigh bone flute of Connor, while being forgeries, deceive the righteous unjustly. Their existence as true relics is the utmost heresy. So it mentions the head of Jude, hand of Jude that Brother Andrew was looking for, the guy who was killed. You're not gonna talk about that? Like, that's some creepy shit you should talk about, Paul? No? Look at that. This Spartan bed shows how the Order treats its visitors. There is no sign of the Order's own quarters, and this chills Paul to the bone. The only man that doesn't need a bed is a dead one. Ugh. Crossbow bolts, there you go. The personal effects of a priest are scattered across the shelves. Rosary beads, a crucifix, and a variety of other small holy items. All right, before we move on, I'm just gonna make sure it's all good. The bellows mechanism supplies the organ upstairs with air. 
It requires an expert hand and attention to keep it in working order. Alright. There we go. His best weapon. Near the organ, a steel mace is mounted on the back wall by means of a display armature. Um, a weapon covered with spikes and flanges that focus force upon striking. The mace was effective against an enemy wearing chainmail. Although usually directed against the head, a mace blow to a limb could break the bones even if the armor was not pierced. Ugh. Okay, so we have that. It's gonna be pretty useful. In fact... How many bolts do I have? 15, okay, so 16 in total. Before we move on, I am gonna enchant the mace and the crossbow. I really appreciate his high mana. Oh, it's these assholes. Oh, we can still shoot them, right? Shit. There you go. I'll just leave one in case I want to heal. I think uh, there were just two of them, okay. A wine cask used for maturing wine. The wine inside this one must be very strong, for it seeps through the cask, filling the air with a heady aroma. Okay. One of them is false. Knocking on this cask results in a hollow thud. It is empty, but why when all the others are full of maturing wine? Should Paul turn the barrel's spigot? Spigot! Oh, that's one factory spigot. <laughs> uh, it reminds me, who was it? Ryan George? Was it in one of his sketches <laughs> when, like, they're teaching kids how to be an adult, and this, like, controller guy, whatever, comes in, like, <laughs> What have you been doing here? And the kid says, We've been learning adultery. And he looks at the guy, like, What have you been teaching them? <laughs> uh... Oh, hi there, sir. It's a blue one. Shit, I did, did I just save? I'll be right back. It's, so it's blue, red, green. We need green. We need zealot that. Mace. I'm gonna go with. Ah, uh, I'm gonna go with the mace. Green. Let's go, looter. Do you not see me, man? Shit. All right, we're hitting each other. Pretty cool. Nice. Sapphire. Okay, that's the second gem. Don't finish him. Don't, if you get the urge, just examine. All right. There's a massive granite vault, carved with hideous bass reliefs. Scratch marks running along the floor make it appear that the crypt has been moved many times. All right, so we gotta find where to put them. Here we go. The spada still has three small indentations adorning its stuff, arranged in a circular formation. Each socket appears to be waiting for something. So we got the sapphire. Sapphire glows with a bright luminance resulting from a stunning cut. Light is kept within its surfaces, giving it an almost ethereal hue. Okay. Is 
the emerald. The emerald's deep green surface reflects the light inside it perfectly. Its cut is the work of a master craftsman. Okay, we just need a ruby. Where is the ruby though? I can't remember. Probably something we have to solve another riddle. Hmm. Because I don't have ruby on me. It's probably... A, it's gonna be in some work of art or some things like that. What is up with the hosses? The tonatsa, huh? Where is that damn ruby? Is it in here? Where did it go? It's not in here. It would be in... I think it's gonna be in one of the... Paintings or something like that. Is it in the wall? No. We open that. Ah, yeah, the the item sound. <laughs> uh, the way they're chill about it. Was it here? I remember it being in a picture, just like the other thing. A woodcut depicting the effects of a plague. The spirit of death incarnate casts final judgment over a wealth of victims. Sheesh, that's scary shit. How about here? No. How about here? The woodcut shows an act of blasphemy. A host of demons prey upon humans like they were playthings. Disemboweled by mocking demons, eaten or tortured by other carnal deviant acts. Scare shit, but still no. Yeah, the choir. <laughs> still no ruby. We found the key here. Okay, let's look around. There can't can't be many rooms we missed. So I can still go upstairs and check there. Maybe someone dropped it there. That's the stairs. So I go from there to there. I know I need sheet music. Is the ruby's gonna be in one of the stained glasses, is it? Oh wait! Let's check the side wall. Something stupid like that, no? He is looking up though. We'll find it. It's not gonna escape us. Yeah, these final few chapters are just you feel how much more they did on them than the well there's more to do actually there's more to play in these final chapters i'm gonna check the room where they imprisoned me first so this is where we found the emerald right there's nothing else here where could it be Paul cannot leave the cathedral until his name is cleared and the real murderer has been uncovered. To run away now would be an admission of his guilt. He said found, find me in the bell tower later, so let's try that. I can't find the ruby. I really feel it's gonna be in one of these. Look, like here. What is that thing? Oh, that's a rose. Oh, jeez. It's the first zombie he sees, actually. Let's let it die and see what happens. You're gonna make a specific sound when he dies. That sound. Nothing to see from here, I think. Yep. It's just like for the sense of beauty. Let's check it out here. Maybe he has the ruby.
Paul is nervous about ringing the bell, fearing his own capture. It is the custodian's task to ring the bell at appropriate times. Perhaps he will be by later to ring it? Should Paul ring the bell anyway? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I thought that too for a second, uh, <laughs> uh, senpai. I thought it was dad or her daughter <laughs> got to the phone. <laughs> Hi. Ah, Brother Luther, not a moment too soon. As you have noticed, dread things inhabit this place. Shambling corpses, and worse. There is darkness at work here. Maybe an eternal kind. In the midst kind. of the Inquisition. I suspect it is worse than that. But I have no proof. Brother Andrew knew this also, and paid the price for it. Why are you telling me this? Perhaps you can finish off what Andrew started. Take this key. Nice. It unlocks the old tower. That's where Anthony was. Sealed off since the Inquisition arrived. I intend to uncover the truth behind this. If you We're about to, to find Anthony. The source of darkness. Return here, and I will do everything I can to help. Till then, brother. May your faith protect you. Brother dude man. Okay, we got the old tower key. The custodian shakes his head and informs Paul that he doesn't have enough evidence to make an accusation against Augustine. There must be something else to find. Like, Pius didn't even try changing his name too much. He's like, oh yeah, I'm now I'm Paul Augustine. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> It's like me trying to be all secretive and changing my name from Matea to Matias. Like, yeah, nobody's gonna figure that out. A large rusted iron key used for access to old tower. All right. Shit's gonna start attacking me now. He, his chapter is more puzzly, in a way, you know, due to his low HP and everything, but it's still no cakewalk. Here we go. It's one of them. That's how they infest people. They literally steal their bones. I'll be right back. So it was green, right? It was green, so that means mace him up. Hello? There it is. Just slap him in the head till it pops out. No, 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 no! Oh shit. Oh god. Should I finish him? Nah. I'll heal myself though. Oh yeah, I can demonstrate the Mentorok healing actually. Here you go, recover with Mentorok. We'll bring back both mana and health. All right, let's look around. Remember this part from Anthony's run, Dupka? The casket is still there. <laughs> is this casket in readiness for Brother Andrew's body? Perhaps Augustine is blessing it, or perhaps it has a more sinister purpose. It is almost as if the death was expected or arranged. Huh. A scroll of aged paper sits on the dusty altar top. It seems to have been discarded. The shield spell. That's the one we're using for a while now. So now, yeah, it recognizes as shield. There you go. Which I also forgot to cast, so... What was it, right?
Could have been useful when I was fighting that guy, but oh well. Like it's in the same spot. <laughs> you didn't move it for centuries? <laughs> Alright, are we ready? So because we did a certain thing with Anthony, we're gonna get something really good from him. Actually, I think I should enchant it with Mantorok. So, Mantorok enchanted weapons kind of poison other creatures. They literally drain health over time when you hit them with them. There he is. He's got the ruby. That's right. Still trying to save Charlemagne. All these years later. It's just pretty interesting, like... Even before Outbreak, a character you play with, with you have to kill him when he zombifies later. It's badass. They just left him there for thousands of years. Oh, the shield. The shield is actually hurting him. Okay, I'm out of shield and stamina. Oh god, Anthony, don't kill me, man. Okay, he's dead. Is he, though? He's finally dead. Nope. Come on, Anthony. Maybe get his arms? Jesus Christ. Oh my god. And the two-edged sword. So if we didn't get the sword with Anthony, we would never get it with Luther. There's like connections like that. Small ones, but valuable. Literally where they killed him all those years ago. Scary shit. Huh? Let me out. Do I still have my... yeah. Don't let him jump on my head. To bring back so much sanity. A sheet of music lies upon the bookshelf. One wonders what it sounds like. A piece of parchment with some musical notations written on it. It is somewhat tattered, probably through years of use. So it's A, B, Y, X, B, Y, A. Lying on an abandoned easel is a sheet of tattered paper covered with scrolls of ink. It's another diary page from Brother Andrew. Let's see what it says. Page 2. I suppose it is understandable that they will not show me the hand of Jude on such little notice. But I must confess that the preparations they make are most unusual. No acts of consecration, no daily prayer or worship are demonstrated by this strange order. One wonders if they are holy at all, let alone being under the auspices of the Grand Inquisition. Perhaps it is my naivet of our faith. There are many practices associated with it, and they differ greatly from region to region. 
Perhaps Amiens is merely more eccentric than others. Oh god! <laughs> you too. Game over, man. Game over. A bewildering array of books and tomes sorted ne neatly into a set of shelves, mostly books of a religious nature, awaiting scholars such as Paul to peruse, peruse their contents. <laughs> so this is the, the secret passage where uh, Anthony went, but it's blocked off now in this time, in this time era. This year, this time period, that's what I'm trying to say. So let's go back. Where, what is he looking at? He's turning his head. Is he looking at the stained glass, I think? God damn it. <laughs> We got the sheet of music. A B Y X B Y A. By means of bellows and pump, the pipe organ is able to play deeply moving music. It has the power to inspire faith and to influence hearts beyond the control of the mind. Should Paul play the organ? Like he played all that, sure. <laughs> oh my god, if it were easy, that would be such a great animation. <laughs> uh, like fucking pious singing to... <laughs> yeah, they were gonna give you... <laughs> oh, and dancing, the skeleton dance. The tabernacle is almost empty. There are none of the things that should be there, such as holy water and other ritualistic items. Only a circle of power lying on the lower shelf. Why do you know what it is? Okay, so now we can cast five point spells, which makes stronger spells and also enables us to summon a zombie to fight for us. Paul has acquired the five point circle of power. Now each of the three point spells can be power powered up by using the power rune. Which is the last one we need. We need the power rune to do that. Which is Pargan, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. Pargan, Pargan, Uliot. <laughs> like, kind of sticks in your head when you play so many times this game. So now we have the ruby. A deep crimson ruby cut with intimate care and worksmanship. Light is trapped within its recursive facets, making it, making it appear to glow from within. Fekthi. Let's go use it. Okay, one by one. Oh, but I can use the... Wait, 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 wait. Oh, love it. Yeah, let's do that. New spell, five. Sexy Ulia. Mm, protect. Oh yeah, I can't. I don't have the bargain room. <laughs> Getting ahead of myself. Oh, these are mentor or zombies. Full on. Look at this guy. He's so small. So tiny. Why are they not draining sanity, bro? What is up with them? Oh, because they hit me. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It didn't look that like they hit me, but yeah, you're right. 
the protect spell. Because when they hit you, when you have the shield, they take damage instead. Okay, we were here with Anthony. There we go, the bargain room. Now make them hit, hit each other. It's easier when you aim at them. Off you go, sir. There's the statue from the Roy of Us Mansion that keeps following you. Remember that? From the second floor? It's only in the year 2000. Which means it was brought there by Edward somehow. Nothing else here. We can move on. So it's gonna be a little tricky. No! No, I didn't yet. I didn't get to, but yeah, I didn't forget about it. I thought you meant something in the, <laughs> something in the, in the inventory. Uh, this statue, Carter, this one here. It's in the the one that's following you. That's in the uh, Royvas Mansion on the second floor in the year 2000. When you play as Alex, it keeps following you as well, with its look. We don't need the codex for this. We just need the room, protect, self, and then add two more pardons. That's right, bankrupt, pargan, santic, uldiot, pargan. <laughs> okay, what else can we power up? We can power up everything. Enchant item. Um, pargan, pargan. Item project Santa, yeah. <laughs> what else? Um, oh, let's give Chaturga some voice. Summon creature. Let's not forget summon creature. So that's the summon zombie spell, only he doesn't know what it is. Absorb area. Reveal invisible, that's right. What else is left? So enchant item has five. Recover needs five. You can see above which power circles, which levels I discovered. So we need Recover, which is Narakat Santec. Okay, that's easy. And we need Damage Field, which is Bankarok Redgomor. Well, it's hinted by the translation of the runes. So I know that protect area, because I know these spells. For instance, here you go, recover. As you can see, recover only has three three points above. Enchant item has five, damage field has five, recover has three. So I check which runes make it, Nerkath and Santec. I go there, I put the ancient of my choosing. I put Nerkath and Santec, which is absorb. And area, absorb self, and then add two pargan runes. We don't know they're pargan runes yet, but I know, so I can do it. There are like two power ups for it. And there you go. Okay, we gotta see which spells are left to level up. The spell magic Netlek Redgumor. Pargan, pargan, and then. Doesn't have to be in order. Redgumor and Nathan. Yeah, it's true, sis. So all you need to do. Shield is powered up and spell 8 is zombie. So only three spells left. Okay, we powered up all the spells. Especially useful with the shield spell. Because we're going to need it now. So I'm going to use it right away. Shield... And cast the mentor of 
No, I have five little dots flying around here. Instead of three. So more shield. Right? You can also restore more health. Let's save all that. Don't want to lose that progress. What is that? Oh, it's you, sir. Ah! Aim first, always. Make sure you hit them. What's my sanity? I can finish him. Actually, two-edged sword. He's dead, Jim. Didn't use crossbow at all this playthrough. What the hell? What was the sanity effect? Why is he screaming? Did they just kill each other? Yep. Yep, they did. So I'm gonna need a chant item. It's red, right? Okay, enchant item, level 5, red, green, blue. Blue beats red, right? Uliot beats Chaturga, that's right. And I'm gonna enchant the two-edged sword. Before it sees me. Alright, now I can just chop it off. Wow. Why am I not hitting it? There you go. You dead, bro? You're losing your head, but you're still not dying. Jesus Christ. Do we want to finish him? No. Stay crazy. An effigy of a monk reclining on the sacrificial altar, a deep groove bis bisects its chest. The monk's face looks almost exactly like the custodian. The inscription reads, Only when thy friend is sacrificed, when his cries fill the air, will the great doors be opened to thee. Like, who put this here and decided that the custodian needs to die? <laughs> there we go. More of these. So there are several doors in this room. We gotta be careful now. This gets more complex. I came from here, pretty sure. This one's locked, okay. Still need my shield, my level 5 shield. <laughs> Stealth kill a zombie. I think it's also protecting my sanity, this thing. Yep, it's protecting sanity as well. Okay, so don't put up the full shield if you want low sanity. That's right. Can I cancel the shield? Oh boy, oh boy. Red, green, blue. Do I still have the blue sword? Yeah. Make it a lot easier. Get their arms now. Both arms, please. Fucking Chaturga zombies and their regrowing limbs. All right. Don't get up, please. Please die. I don't want to finish you, dude. Arcane documents and treatments of the demonic hearts. Paul daren't touch them for the fear of the taint of evil. <laughs> All right, we need another one of those. It's time to keep casting this off, and especially with him. Uh, actually, I don't know which one I need. Okay, I do know I need the fucking torch. Without it, this game is like... You can't see anything. Save. Save. 
A further proof of the heresy within this dark cathedral, a table bears arcane documents. Diagrams and sigils pertaining to demonic craft are scattered across the recently used table. Well, does this door work? The shelf appears to be recessed into the wall, not quite as flush as the others in the room, almost as if it could slide inward, should Paul push the shelf. I'll let them hit me. Get my sanity, bro. I guess not. Well, I kind of fucked up with Paul. We're not gonna see too many sanity effects with him, but okay. Help me, Grandpa. I can't take this anymore. Don't be so weak, Alex. You have a stronger mind than this. I didn't bring up a weakling. Not a scared wretch of a girl. You kept all this from me. You kept me alone. You shared nothing with me. I couldn't. I could never give you the burden. I just wanted you to grow up. To grow up and leave me alone. Why Messing with her head. You know, these are completely skippable. This isn't really happening. <laughs> it's another one, another character hallucinating Alex. And these are you can totally miss these if you cure her sanity. They would they, they depend on her sanity. Alright. Tucked into a niche within the wall, a stone tablet is found. By adding Pargan runes to a spell, it can be powered up, intensifying its effects. Alright, we already knew that. So we, there we go, we got all the runes now, we just need all the spells, which... Well, we can make all the rest of the spells, I just gotta remember what they are. I think one of them will be Summon Horror, which is the 7 point summon. And the other two, what can we make? Let's try. Protect... area we have that protect self we do have that too right so this Nethlek Radgomor oh god you gotta learn these runes Bankrock and Bankrock and Radgomor Bankrock and Radgomor okay Bankrock and Radgomor no, there's no way. These final few chapters are quite long. I just gotta remember the spells. So, what did I say? Bankrock and Radgomor, right? So, what what is this one? Netlek Radgomor. Okay, let's try. Damage field. Okay, yeah, we have that one already. Mm, we're missing spells 9, 10, 11. 9, 10, 11. But what, what could they be? What is 12? I forgot. Oh yeah, that one. What was it? Okay, okay, that gives me a clue. So we need... Let's put... Bargain, bargain. Find creature. So instead of summon, absorb. Nope. Um, protect. Creature. Yeah, that, that's it. Okay. What else? What else? I'm surely I can make something else. Pardon, pardon. Creature self, area self, area creature, item, project, dispel. Summon area? There we go. Summon area. 
And that's spell 11. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Uh, spell list. Yeah, so we're missing two more. One of them will be a zombie summon. And the other one... So we need one a seventh. We're missing one more spell, basically. Let's do it. We can do this. We know it's... Actually, start with tripod. It's easier. Let's think. Protect. Summon. Absorb. Just silly. Dispel item? No. Oh. Oh yeah. I know I can make myself invisible. With the Mentor or Kroon. That's right. I guess we'll find it. Another diary page. A blasphemous shrine stands at the end of the room, dedicated to an unholy god. Paul can sense the e its evil and find finds it difficult to approach. What do we have here? Page 3. With a shudder in my heart turned to ice. With a shudder my heart turned to ice. I came to the brutal realization that the entire order were heretics and that I was in incredible jeopardy. Who knows how long they had kept their dark secret, masquerading as custodians of the Hand of June, when in fact they guarded a damnable relic, the essence of the unholy Chaturga, and used it to lure potential victims to their hideous sacrifice. I felt sick, and despite my faith, I felt intense fear and hopelessness. I know that I must escape this place before they suspect my knowledge. I must warn the world and notify the real Inquisition of their presence. Knowing death is just around the corner and fearing every moment, I commit these words to paper. Augustine will find this book. I will remove certain pages and hide them, so that all who may follow might discover the truth before it's too late. Right, we got the pages, now we gotta go meet the, our friend the custodian. Will you die, sir, please? Thank you. So this is where Anthony was too. This part of the dungeon. Smiri Samatsu. Smiri. It's okay. I'm, I'm comfortable enough. Just lie down. For the love of fuck. Just lie down. Brr. Brr to you too. Yeah, she's drilling. Okay. So we gotta go back upstairs. This is a huge level with him. So we got... yeah. Let's go back. All the way back. Back into the past. You okay now, kitty? Creepy statue. Where's the sanity, Paul? I hear something. <laughs> that sound keeps following me. The camera has changed the angle. Look at that. What are you looking at? He looked to the side, kind of. There's nothing there.
Here I am. Brother Andrew suspected Augustine all along. I managed to find remnants of oh, his... Oh, that's Colonel Campbell, yeah. It all points to Augustine's involvement with a paganistic cult operating inside the cathedral. Aye, the cathedral's dark secret has been uncovered. I too suspected this, but was too afraid to act. Augustine himself is a heretic. He has covered his tracks well. Claiming that the so weird relic, hearing the his hand voice of now. Jude was stored here. He had those who came to see it murdered. The hand of Jude never existed. And with that realization, the trap closes, brother. My days here are numbered. I awoke to find this cruel dagger placed upon my pillow this morn. It can only mean one thing. I know too much, and they are moving to silence me. I can only hope that what little faith I have left is enough to save my soul. Please, take this thing away from me. Its very sight troubles me to no end. May your faith protect thee, Brother Luther, for that's all you have. Well, I have a crossbow and a mace and a book of flesh and bones. I will miss you, good guy. I've been giving a sacrificial knife. An ornate long-bladed knife used to sacrifice humans. For Paul to even pick it up is repulsive, for the sense of evil it emits is intense and unnerving. The souls this blade has taken live on within its metal. <laughs> we go back. We're not gonna find him. They took him. They took him and we need to sacrifice him, no less. That knock will never not be scary. <laughs> oh, fuck these guys. Let's use this thing. I always want. I think it's just gonna cast the uh, Zelotath recover spell. Oh no! Oh shit! It recovers my sanity fully. I don't want that. I so didn't want that. <laughs> He's not gonna take any away. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, there's gonna be more. Okay. I never used it before, honestly. Beat this game like 15 times and never used that thing. <laughs> I thought it was just gonna be a little. So you just kneel down, pray, and there you go. You're not crazy anymore. Problem solved. Let's rest. So what did we get? Uh, yeah, I gotta go all the way there. It's weird. I wanna go through the old tower because that's how Anthony got to it. But for him... Yeah, that's what I want. Shit. Actually, teleport me, master. What the fuck? Why are they not reacting to me? How about this guy? What the fuck happened with that guy? Did he just die out of nothing? Did I step on him? I've never seen that happen before. Come on, teleport me. That was weird. <laughs> I want something to take my sanity away. I don't need to cure anything, so purple, purple please. Or actually any of these and then purple. Oh yeah, there's a there's an enemy in the blue. I just want them to look at me, take my sanity, and off I go. Then two more guys there. 
bring me back to where I want it to be. <laughs> Smack each other, yeah. Hello, creepy statue. Anyone else? No? Am I losing it? Yeah, alright. Like, look at me all happy to lose my sanity. <laughs> ah, shit. Be right back, sir. Okay. Well, the crossbow is, like, even though it's ranged, it's a shit weapon because of its speed. It's pretty powerful, but we're gonna go with something else. What was that? A green bone thief? Yeah, it's Zelda. Okay. So we want Chaturga. Level 5 enchantment. Red, green, yeah? On the two-edged sword. Hi there, sir. Oh, that hurt. Wow, insta-kill. Because more powerful. So that's why the Pargan runes are good. Without the Pargan rune... I would need probably two swings, because even though this is a powerful weapon. So now we gotta sacrifice our friend. Can you enchant this, I wonder? No. It's not even the door I thought it would be. <laughs> okay. Pulse progress forward is blocked by a corrosive spell. Obviously someone wants to keep intruders at bay and this lethal, mag ma lethal magic is just the way to do it. Uh, we need the spell magic. What is it? Green? Of course it's green. So the spell magic red. Okay. I think this is the end of this chapter, right? Pretty sure. This is it. We're, well, we're through to the two probably most boring chapters in the game, at least to me. It's these two, Lindsay and Paul. That's him, yep. Lying in a pool of his own blood is the custodian, Paul's only ally in his fight against the darkness. His soul no doubt lingers, fused to the altar on which his life has been taken, watching over his own rapidly cooling corpse. Ugh. Feeling all hope escape him, Paul's situation is suddenly a thousand times more desperate than before. Now he is alone, alone against the darkness. You are a clever man, Brother Luther. Wanting answers to clarify your new position as fugitive, you seek them out, and this is what you find. <laughs> What does a man such as yourself think of when he finds a viper's nest of heresy? When he finds the very source of corruption? I think of irony. Irony of what you, masquerading as a member of the Inquisition, stand for. And that you stand for evil. Evil is merely a perspective which no longer concerns me, Luther. You will be executed in the most painful manner imaginable. After we have broken your frail body and mind in the name of our true lord, Zelatov. Come, my children, feast on this morsel and let us return to our preparation.
He's kind of like Claudia from Silent Hill 3. And the way he appears just to fuck you up. Okay, we do have... Nice, we do... We are ready for them. As long as they don't jump me, it should be good. Do need some... There you go. Oh, you're still alive. Alright. Okay. As long as I survive those two, I'll be okay. Yeah, he's just screaming, nothing's happening. It's weird. Okay, that didn't change. There should be a key somewhere, if I remember correctly. There you go. Dangling from worn iron chains, burning sensors fill the room with a fetid incense. Acrid smoke rises from what can only be burning flesh. Ugh. Oh, that must smell foul. Did I get anything? I should get a key, I think. Ah. He didn't notice me there at all. I, can, I think this is it. If I'm not mistaken. We're through with this chapter. It's... It is all. Kind of disappointed by, by his... Sanity effects, there's very few. But it changes playthrough to playthrough. They're always random. This is it. <laughs> the door is decorated more than most within the catacombs. Sensing an immense evil behind this door, Paul wonders if the ceremony the monk had mentioned earlier is taking place behind it. Should Paul enter and put an end to the heresy? Here we go. Man, the frame rate in this game is just perfect. <laughs> so in each playthrough this boss would be different depending on the chosen ancient. Your task, my liege and greater guardian, is to guard this place. Do not worry about this world. This kind yelps in terror at the sight of your mightiness. We will dispose of him ourselves. <laughs> Poor Paul. You don't even get to fight it with him. We'll fight it during World War I. With the last character to whose story takes place in the cathedral. Alex has found a note from Edward. Oh, she's almost completely insane. The note reads, My dearest Alex, I'm glad that you have followed my paper trail thus far. 
I knew I could depend on you. This will be the hardest part of your journey. Look for the 88 keys to continue your journey into the past. Your loving grandfather, Edward. All right, folks, that's enough for today. My butt is still beginning to hurt. <laughs> we made good progress. Like I said, these are the two most boring. Oh, he just, the, the guardian just killed him. So each guardian kills him in different way. The zealot the guardian lifts him up with telekinesis and just explodes his head. And that's it. Rips him apart. And uh, I remember Chaturga Guardian just like steps on him and makes a little <laughs> stain on the floor. But you don't get to fight the Guardian until like the First World War, like I said. Um, we're done with the two, like for me, the most boring chapters. So next session, I don't know if it's going to be tomorrow. It's kind of crazy here. Uh, possibly, I would love to continue this tomorrow. And I think that's when we're going to finish it. This is what's left. We're left with one, two, three characters and the final battle. So four more chapters. I don't know. We'll see. The first five are very fast. We'll see. Let's see who we can raid. Thanks for being here, John. Thanks, everyone, for watching, of course. Thank you. Yes, yes, indeed. See you, Sineb. Thanks for being here. Who's doing what? There you go. Slim's doing Doom Eternal. Doom Eternal? Yeah, Doom Eternal. Let's do that. Doom's good. Doom's the boom. Till next time, everyone. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Perfect sync, sis. Perfect sync. <laughs> See ya.